that we are coming to also share the word of God with you wherever you are. You are welcome uh, into the glory of the Lord. And it's my prayer that wherever you are, um, you also do best as you can to join the program and invite somebody to join also with us. And may the name of the Lord be magnified in your life. I pray that may God Almighty visit you tonight as we hear the word of God. Uh, the word of God is our strength and is our everything. And it's my prayer that wherever you are, um, you will be able to amend your way. For this life, we, we have nothing and we, we cannot have anything. All what we do is we need to concentrate on our salvation uh, salvation plan. We need to have salvation focus. If you are on earth here and you don't have salvation focus, it doesn't matter what you do. Salvation is a principle and it's something that one must uh, do all his best as he can. Oh, man of God, um, that is a man of God, Pastor Afro, Reverend Pastor Afro is here. God bless you. Christ risen. Also, uh, Reverend, also, uh, Pastor also is here at France, Christ Risen Ministry. Also, Frank, that is, uh, Reverend Frank also is here. God bless each of and everyone. Please help me to share and invite somebody also to join the program. Now, today we are still, I'm going to continue with the, the last term, the title that we entreated, that is live your life as a stranger. Uh, on earth here. Live your life as a stranger on earth here. Your life must be considered as a stranger, as we do usually. But many people take life as, uh, take life, uh, let them say, at their hands. Many people think they, 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 they have all right what they have and they think they are doing best as they can to enjoy their life. But life is not like that. We must remember that we have somewhere to go. We must know that. We must agree with us that one day we will go back to home. But many people don't care for this. All what we every day do is, Prophet Emmanuel, God bless you, you are all welcome. All what we continue to do is we take life for granted. No, one day, one day, you must remember that one day you will appear before your maker. And that is going to be another terrible day that man, have to look at how are you going to appear before the Most High God. If you didn't look at all these kind of things, life might not be easier for you on earth here and also in heaven. Oh, bienvenido. Um, welcome, welcome. Um, um, that is uh, <laughs> and, uh, um, Virginia, welcome. You are welcome also to the program. God bless you. All of you help me to share the program. And I hope uh, we will talk later also. Amen. One thing I want us to concentrate tonight is something that we have to look at it very clear. If you are a Christian, don't forget that one day your maker will call you. Your maker will call you. One day, if Christ even have not yet come, it's automatically that one day you might die. God might call you or Christ will come. It is two things you cannot escape. But after you die or Christ call you, one thing that you have to do is you must ask yourself, where are you going to be? As we as a strangers, especially I used to say we strangers, when we travel from our country to different country, what we do is every day we assert ourselves, our life, and think how what we can do for the next coming year. Even though the life is not at your hand as we do so, but we always project our life ahead. One thing I want you to do is do best as you can to project your life ahead. Salvation is a principle that you must follow. Salvation is a principle you must follow. It's something that you must determine. We must have a focus. If you did not get a focus, if you did not get salvation focus, my brethren, that will be a problem that will call, I mean, cause many people to lose their salvation. God bless you, Richard. God bless you, man of God. Also, your boy, God bless you, uh, Rankson. God bless you, wherever you are. Also, um, my man of God, Ephraim. Ephraim. Ephraim, God bless you, man of God. You are all welcome in the name of the Lord, wherever you are. Um, I pray that we can get set and the focus. We can get set and the focus. If you did not get salvation focus, it's hardly to go to heaven because the, the creation of war, that is 
the circle of defeat is so blood and is is, is so strong that enemy has built salvation uh, i mean war or let him say war against the salvation and so it's just have become like jericho war salvation have become another critical point that one have to be very very careful but one thing is we think if we make life where or we gain life it is finished no it is not finished it can never be finished because after the after life there is death and after death there is judgment and after judgment there is a consequence that one have to also think that you are going to meet i pray that may god give you such a mystery and such understanding please all men of god please all those who are on board help me to share this message as i'm going to um also start with the scripture as we start with the scripture quickly let's start from the book of john where we stopped last time the book of john chapter 14 verse 2 to 5. john 14 2 to 5. i want us to also john chapter 2 chapter 14 2 to 5. the book of john chapter 14 from two going or let me start from one going the book of john chapter 14 1 to 5. let not your heart be troubled ye believe in god believe also in me ye believe in god believe also in me um man of god god bless you um for future president medicine god bless you you are welcome <laughs> hallelujah please all of you help me to share the, the message and also invite the people to join the, the platform as we share this message now he said let not your trouble your heart trouble you and also i repeat verse one let not your heart trouble you believe in god believe also in me believe also in me for a purpose now in my father's house are many mansions if it were not so in my father's house are many mansions if it were not so samuel Nema, ah god bless you man of god it's long time if it were not so i would have not told you i go to prepare a place for you i would have not told you and i have as you have not told you that if there is no mansion in my father's house this give a proof that we are going to somewhere this give a proof that jesus christ have come and i mean sacrifice his life to save us and this is an a salvation proof that jesus there, there have ever been any prophet that say i'm going and i will come back never and ever ever be any prophet apart from jesus christ just consider jesus is a prophet yeah okay it's okay elijah did not say i'm going i'll come back no elijah could not say that another moses say i will come I will, I will, i'm going but moses i'm going in a prophet greater as me will come and all the prophet also give the prophecy about jesus christ and jesus said i'm come I, I, i've come but i'm going i will come and take you again and so we must think of this that one day jesus christ is coming to take me and you but where will you be as a child of god or as a woman being in general we must consider ourselves as a stranger if any stranger that consider himself as a citizen always become a fool because you doesn't think of the reason why you travel and everybody have the cause of his traveling everybody have the vision his mission of his his traveling in a general hustling some people come pep, travel purposely for the education uh, i mean advantage some also travel for to get a certain capital some also travel in, in the purpose of hiding themselves or for security reason some travel from their country some also for financial reason they travel for their country and some are graduates some are not graduates so on earth here we are different kind of people and everybody have his goal and so some people are spending all their money to build house at home some people are spending all their money to make sure they will they will have their degree before they go home some people are also gathering all their money in order that they can raise capital 
that you start something, doing something. And if you are just a hustler and you have been traveling from your country to another country for a mission and you did not achieve that mission, what have you done? You have you have become just a useless person. Excuse me to use that because you 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 are aimless on earth here. One day, Jesus Christ said, I'm going, and if there is no mansion in my father's house, I will have not say, as you have not say, I will have not told you that I'm going, and I'll come back and take you. And so we must be clear of this. There is no argue on this. There is no argue. This was not written after Jesus Christ. This was saved by Jesus. And so everybody that don't have hope or confidence that Jesus Christ is coming again, and that is the purpose of my reason or the purpose of my life waiting on ADM, and that is the reason of my, uh, my service. The Bible said, give your life as a holy sacrifice, acceptable unto God. Give your life as a living holy sacrifice, acceptable unto God. This is the reason of your worship. Another version said, this is the purpose of your worship worship another verse is that this is the, the 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 why or this is the cause of your 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 worship and so your worship must have an vision as must have a salvation focus but many of us don't have salvation focus all what we have is how to become a man of god how to get a power and that is not the salvation plan for christ jesus christ did not come to give us just a power to demonstrate no he came to give us a power that we overcome our weaknesses that we will be able also to win souls for him do we have salvation plan what is your salvation plan at these days Maybe you believe yourself you are, you are doing well, you are not seen. I'm not talking of whether you sin or you did not sin. I'm talking of your focus, of your determination, of your dream, of your goal. That one day you are going to meet God and that will be your result. Many say, Bible says, many are called but few are chosen. Whether you, you have been called by God or you have been called by man or you have been called by whatever call that you have called is a call and so you must be sure that you do all your best as you can to improve yourself and prove your talent make sure you respond to your calling for many people thinking that by just going to church paying their tithe is not a salvation plan it's a salvation plan is have a focus on christ for his coming must be waiting ah, by every Christian. If Christ come and you have any excuse, my brother, that would be another wrong thing, a big mistake that we are doing. I don't know it's always at least, but this one will be at always finish. <laughs> it's always finished. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> oh, and um, that is um Prophet As Hagar. Oh, my sister, you are welcome. God bless you. Uh, uh, Stin KBO with you. Oh, man of God, you are all welcome, Peter. Uh, Amunufu, God bless you. Peter Amunufu, God bless you. All of you, men of God and women of God, you are all welcome. Please help me to share this message. Many people uh, are only interested of praying, prophesizing, giving tongues. All of them is bad bush about the, about the salvation. It's salvation bad bush. It doesn't work. If you talk of salvation, it's not a matter of prayer. It's a matter of determination, a matter of confidence. It's a matter of trust. It's a matter of a, a salvation principle that you follow. It's a matter of having I mean, confidence and proof. It's a matter of understanding. If you don't understand this, and here is where many people have reason not to go to church, reasons of stopping going to church, reason of not being a, a Christian. You can listen to whatever people are talking, but think of it that after death, what will be your next destination? On earth here, we are just here for trances. And there are there are different kinds of trances. Some are making stopover. <laughs> and let me tell you, on earth here, we are making trances, and also after death, we are making stopover. Many people don't know what we call stopover. When you are making transit, it's where you have, you will change the flight. It can be the course of one hour, two hours, 30 hours, depends. But when you talk of stopover, it's when the flight is stopping for you to, to take another person that joined you and move. Or turning from exactly two near which you are to enter another flight. That is also stopover because you don't cross immigration. So, on earth here is a stopover. Why am I saying? We are not doing anything on earth here. We are just making a, a transit or stopover. And so, where are you now? 
If you make a stopover, what you must do is you make sure you enter the tunnel and go to the, 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 the right flight that you are going. If you are making a transit, is to make sure that you will be at the, at, the, at the gate at the right time that you enter to the flight. If you say, I'm going home and come, no, it's your own fault. Please, let's not have any excuse about our salvation. Um, could you, could you, could you, welcome. It's a long time. God bless you wherever you are. Amen. Please, all of you help me to share this program and invite the people. It's very, very important. We listen to the word of God. Now, when we continue, he said, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. There have ever been any prophet that said, I will come again. No. I will come again. And what proof you that he will come again? What proof do you have? He was killed or he was crucified or he was murdered. However you want to put it, there is no problem on that. And after then, three days he arrived from dead. And so he have come out from death and telling you what is there. So what should, do we have to argue on it? He have brought death to life. And he have even died and overcome the death and come back and say, I'm going. I will come back. Elijah did not say, I'm going. He told Elijah that uh, uh, if you see me going, if you see me going, uh, the power will come on you. I will, throw, I will give you the, what you, you demand. But Jesus did not say so. Jesus said, I will, I'm going and I will come back. So we must to follow the salvation I mean, principle. We must have a salvation focus that one day Jesus is coming back to take me and you. Whomsoever you are, it doesn't matter or irrespective of color or nationality or whatever. We must have a salvation focus on our life. I want to tell you one thing that you might not be a preacher. That is not the case. You might be the preacher, that is not the case. Whatever you can do, whether you do miracle or did not do miracle, you are responsible of your soul and you are responsible of your calling. Many people are very intelligent but not in their calling. But your calling is obligation. You must do something about your calling. You must do something. Somebody say, I, I, so can, should everybody preach? I, I can answer this for you right now. The case is, how many angels that God have in heaven? What are they doing? So if the whole world, if everybody is preacher, what is your problem? The problem is, you must search for your own soul. You must determine for your, 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 your dest the destiny of your soul. Salvation means your dest destiny of your soul. Your soul must have a rest at somewhere must have a confidence. We must save our soul. And so Jesus said, I will come back again and receive you into, my, into myself that where I am there, you may be also where I am. That is where you are. So it's, it's just like you, you have gone to, maybe you have gone to Africa or somewhere and you have gone to get married and you tell your wife that, look, I'm going to prepare a means or I'm going to prepare your documents. And at the end of the day, uh, I, will, I, will, I will also apply visa. And when you get everything is all right, uh, I, will, I, will, I will also send you a document to go to the embassy and take your, your visa from there and you are take you are then you come back to where i am and where i am that is where you are going to stay and so right now you might be in britain or america or canada or somebody don't want to be in charge in sudan no problem <laughs> whatever you want to be you can be so it's something that your wife must understand it and prepare herself and wait and when the visa come your wife is responsible to go to embassy and take the visa whether she can read or she cannot read she must be there However, he can do it, he must do it. And take the visa. And he your wife is responsible to, to go to airport and join the flight and be part of the passengers and reach here. And so if your wife make a transit and say, Ha, ah, I have found one of my uh, my classmates and join that classmate and go, it is her fault not to join the flight. It's not the, the, the fault of the of the of the pilot. And so when your wife is making the transit in different country or whatever, that the person is making the transit, is, she is responsible to wait at the transit hall till she found out that they are going because they were announcing. And here is where I'm announcing to you that Jesus is coming, whether today or tomorrow. You must 
prepare yourself to join the flight. We are going tonight. Whatever happened, we are going. Christ is coming. The case is many people say whatever they want to say. Say whatever. It doesn't matter your position or it doesn't matter uh, your, 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 your education standard. But it matter of thinking of your own self. You must be very, very careful of your soul. You must be very intelligent in your salvation aspect. For many people who lost their salvation, it is because they think they are so intelligent, they think they are so fast, they think they are so, I mean, quick. Some also think they have power at hand. Having the power of God at your hand doesn't permit you to go to heaven. I'm telling you this straightforward. Having the power of God at your hand doesn't permit you to go to heaven. But preparing yourself, determine, and be very active will let you go to heaven. Many of our mother, our grandmoms will go to heaven, but many of us who, who, who can read and can explain and give much and uh, a grammar, whatever language you can, how whatever standard of grammar that you can you can speak, or whatever language you think you can read good, you can do it, but you are responsible of your soul. Many of us have privilege to serve God, but we don't care. We do whatever we think we do. We gain means to get money. Being a man of God or Christianity is not a profession of making money or to make yourself rich. I'm not saying we have to, Christianity means a poor person. No, Christianity means a person of confidence of Christ, a person of a stranger on earth, a person of thinking wisely of his soul. That is a Christian thinking wisely about your soul, making a right decision for your soul. My brethren, if we didn't take care, we will give an unnecessary excuse and lost your salvation. God bless all of you. Oh, I just man is here. My brother, God bless you. Also, Dakwa, uh, patience, my sister. God bless all of you. Son, okay, Ransom, God bless you. Uh, Reverend, I tell my number two. Oh, my twins, you are welcome. God bless you too. <laughs> Angelina, God bless all of you. You are all welcome to the platform. Tonight, I'm sharing with you and I'm encouraging you for Christ's sake. Let's search how best we can serve our soul, we can save our soul. Privilege, I'm not talking of privilege that you have. You can get privilege, and when God gives you a privilege, to establish you is not there is nothing wrong of being a rich person or be an intellectual person there is nothing wrong of be an army commander or be a president or a minister or prime minister king queen whomsoever in every privilege that god has give to you make good use of it but think of your soul that is all what i want to tell you tonight that is all what i want us to share tonight I'm not against you. God knows why you was born as a royal from a royal family. There is nothing wrong when you are a king. There is nothing wrong when you are a queen. There is nothing wrong when you are prime minister. There is nothing wrong when you are custom director. There is nothing wrong when you are, uh, I mean, uh, you, you are intellect, uh, intellect, uh, an intelligent person or intellectual person or you gain a destiny of glory. There is nothing wrong to prosper on earth here. But the problem on earth here is we don't have to put our trust in that. That should not be. That is an secret of defeat. That is what David said. In my good days, I will not sin. But many of us, when we get uh, when we get breakthrough, is where we begin to find ways and means. It's a big mistake when we prosper before we find Satan or we find protection from different kind of rituals and evil sources. I don't see that as intelligent at all. I never ever see any kind of demonic organizations or societies that have improved someone's talent or that have established someone in his talent. But the big mistake that we are doing is when God, when God give you a chance, when God bright our star, when God, I mean, lifted us, when God, I mean, the grace of God come upon our life. When we, we see the glory of God is when we begin to seek for rituals to protect us. This is what I don't understand it. This is what I don't understand it. We must be very careful. 
you can give excuse of poverty you can give excuse of secular you can give excuse of rich you can be give excuse of whatever you want to give an excuse will not be listened at that day men of god women of god brethren and sisters whomsoever you are this is the time to rededicate our life for christ this is the time to give our life to jesus christ this is the time to look back to our soul our soul is just like a baby child which have been born by say three weeks and this child have not weak to eat to feed himself or herself the mother is responsible to look at this child that this child have not yet eat it's time for this child to eat it's a mother is responsible to take this baby put the breast feed uh, feed the child or they put the breast at the mouth of this child and as a the mother is responsible to press the breast make sure the milk will come for the child that the child will experience what is going on and start to feed but if you say oh a baby of three weeks or one one man is sleeping from morning till evening she have not awake and that is why i haven't feed that child whom do you think kind of person do you think you are oh augustina augustine god bless you god bless you you are welcome i'm asking a question whom do you think kind of mother that person is we must be very 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 careful of our soul we are making big mistake the, the the wrong thing is we always focus on people mistake we don't look at our own we always focus on people wrong things we don't look at our own there are many people that have calling they don't care about their calling they don't ask god why you make me so intelligent why you make me so strong why you make me so wise why you give me an, a voice that people listen to me no we don't ask god why god give me that but one thing is we have to ask god what do you want me to do or else you are going to church is not a salvation plan for you if not jonah should have not been tracked maybe you are a minister it doesn't matter you are a woman or you are not a woman you are calling is your calling we must respond to our calling jesus needed you jesus needed me we must do best as we can to serve christ esther oh Esther, you are welcome. God bless you, woman of God. You are welcome. Now, let's continue from down there. He said, I will receive unto myself, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know. And the way of, and the way ye know. Thomas said unto him, that is John chapter 14, verse 5, I'm reading, and Thomas said unto him, lord we know not whether thou goes and how can we know the way jesus said unto him i am the way the truth and the life no man come unto me no man come unto the father but by me you cannot go to the father without me when you are going to any minister office you need to take appointment from the secretary you need to take appointment from the secretary you can't go to god without jesus christ one thing is there is no argue on this this is the word of the lord now, this is what jesus said he said i am the way the truth and the life the way of everything the truth in everything the life the future or the goal of life is unto me no man come unto the father but by me and so our salvation is secure when we believe in christ and we walk according to his salvation plan we walk according to his salvation plan he said go here and preach the word to every creator whomsoever believe baptize him baptize him teach him but we, you, that does not mean kill your soul no you are making mistake we must be sure that what we are doing we are secure of our soul we must put ourselves at the right shoes we must remember that we are strangers don't allow the world to deceive you and don't allow the civilization or the technology or advancement of this world is a salvation trap 
that is a problem that many people are falling victim on it but i want to tell you that circle of defeat have been designed and satan have been designed this world in a way that if you didn't take care you think it's of god some privilege will come to your life you think it's of god some chances will come to your life you think it is of god i mean you may get some chances in your life but you must look at it well ask yourself in everything that you are doing are you doing it for the advancement of gospel or you are doing it for the just for your own you can take rituals as you can and display as much as you can but jesus will not want you in his office there i repeat again you can take rituals or you can join any occult society you can use your idol powers you can do any evil sources rituals to make or to display whatever you want to do but i want you to understand it's not a salvation plan jesus have not asked any man to go and do miracle for him he would do it by himself that is the responsibility of the holy spirit and so what we have to do is to make sure the way of our life is right before god if we did not do so here is where many men of god are going to totally heal the painful thing is somebody has fast have weight upon the lord and when chance come for him to stand to stand at the end of the day we desire miracle no our responsibility is not to do miracle it's not to do miracle allow god to do miracle not you to do miracle if we focus on miracle if we focus on science we will lose our salvation it doesn't matter how much we have been preaching many people we take the glory of god why not allow god to do his glory glorify himself the father of gideon said let the idol speak for himself i don't see it right for us to do miracle for christ is christ have to demonstrate himself and show himself strong through the holy spirit but many of us we don't do that all what we do is we do all our best to do miracle if somebody is doing miracle and you are not doing miracle forget it forget it your salvation first your salvation first if you cannot keep yourself in order how can you keep people in order oh my sister b becky b is here woman of god you are welcome god bless all of you it is a big problem Katanza, I'm, 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 I'm on board, so we can speak now, please. Please, uh, I'm, 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 I'm begging each of and everyone, don't call on messenger to cut up the line for me, please, or WhatsApp. Whatever you want to discuss with me, after then you can call me, so that uh, we're not cut up, because I'm using two platforms, Prophet Attend Marco and also uh, Attend Marco. Both of them are, are, are working now, so if I try to also call uh, receive any message it will cut off so please i'm sorry for not receiving call at this moment please uh, forgive me and let's focus on the program how we can achieve the goals god bless each of and everyone now um as i'm speaking let's go back to a question that we have to answer according to jeremiah chapter 2 verse 11 the book of jeremiah chapter 2 verse 11 let's look at something there there is question for me and you to answer there and here is where if we didn't take care, we will make mistake thinking that God is pleasing with us. Maybe what we are doing cause annoyance. It provoke God. We have to be very careful. Whether we are serving God or we are provoking God. That is one thing we have to look at. Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 11 said, Has a nation changed their gods, which are yet not gods? But my people have changed their glory, that which do not profit. Have nothing changed their goals? Has nothing changed their ways? Have nothing changed their focus? We must get a salvation focus. Why God sent you? Bible says man was sent by John the Baptist. A man was sent by God, whose name is John the Baptist. He came purposely to, 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 to testify about the light, to testify about Christ. I mean, to, 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 to present Christ for me and you. And after that, that is his job. And his job has finished. Whether he, he was, his head was caught, however he gone, is, is, is not the case. The case is, what is your, 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 your salvation plan? 
John the Baptist came on earth here. He baptized, which was not the tradition of Israel. He baptized, which was not in the uh, prophecy. There was no in the prophecy about baptism. But um, and even though there was a prophecy of about him, but it was not instituted in any way for baptism. But one thing is because God sent him, he did not look at what the Pharisees and have, have, have been dressed, the other kind of Hindus and others were doing. He focused on his calling and he do what he have to do. My brother, if you didn't take care, somebody will condemn your calling. Mind your business. Mind your business. If you are a prophet, be a prophet. If you are a priest leader, be a priest leader. If you are a worship leader, be a worship leader. If you are a pastor, be a pastor. Bible says he give the gift for the edification of the ministry, but everybody is distracting himself. We are distracting our own self. Now we must remember that we are strangers on earth here. We don't have to forget our responsibilities. Whenever army commander go to war, he controls the soldiers. But yet he's, he, he remember that he is an stranger there. He controls the soldiers, but he to protect himself and make sure he will not fall in victim till he come back from the war. It doesn't matter because he is an army commander or police commander or military leader that he cannot die. He can die. We must be sure of our salvation to protect ourselves. I'm appealing to every man of God and every woman of God. I'm sorry, maybe I'm not saying the right thing that you think I have to tell you. But the fact is, if you didn't take a miracle, we take man of God to hell. Remember, Bible said there was an, a prophet who was sent by God, and God said, Thou should not eat, not a drink, till you come back and don't take the way you come. Take another way. But Bible said, another prophet called him and convinced him, Don't allow anybody to convince you how you can improve yourself in the, in the gospel, which is not the right way from God. If any man of God, call you to help you what you don't see it as of god please be careful there should be no secrecy in the gospel whether you are a prophet whether you are a pastor whomsoever that you think god have called you there should be no secrecy and that is what bible said someone said i'm bush i'm mountain i'm where don't go means there should be no secrecy please i pray that may god uplifted you and I pray that may God anointed you. I pray God, may God strengthen you. And I pray that may God guide you. The Bible said the step of right, you're being ordered by God. But that does not mean make whatever you want and blame God at the end of the day. We are strangers on earth here. Whether you give, you're married, whether you did not marry, you are a stranger on earth here. That is what I want to share with you. Many people think they can make it, but without Christ, it's impossible. Oh, I'm from Port Oh, you are welcome. I, I should have called you to give us worship. Hallelujah. And also, my my sister, you are welcome. Also, and uh, Daniel means a man of God. You are all welcome. And Kokua said, Is here. God bless you wherever you are. Please, you are all welcome in the Lord. Help me, please, help me to share this message and also invite people. Even though people don't like to hear this, uh, it's good as you have standing here. But that doesn't take man to heaven. My life also is important. I have to go to heaven. My reason of sharing this message with you is Bible said, if you did not tell them and they die, you will also be accounted for their soul. I accounted for your soul and you accounted for my soul too. Let's join hands and do the work of God right in. Please. Even though I'm a prophet, but I doesn't look at the miracle so much. I look how I can save my soul. And I look how I can, I can hear the actual word of God and do what I have to do. Many people will lost their salvation when we try to do what God has not sent us. What God has not sent us to do. Please, it's time for me and you to take a right decision. To think wisely that one day we will leave the church. If we force to do what we don't have to do, one day we will leave, we leave the church. If even Christ have not come, we will leave the church. If Christ come, 
we will still leave the church. We are going to give account. When God, Christ called you, you are not going to give account of the miracle. You are not going to give account of how many messages you have been preaching. You are not going, but you are going to give an account of how you manage your soul to wait to the right time. So Bible says, have a nation change their glory. Have a nation change their way. Have a nation forget their visions. Have a nation forget their, their, their focus. Have a nation ignorant their, their goals. No. So we don't have to ignorant our salvation. It's a time for me and you to determine how best we can to save our soul. There should be no any means and there will be no any movement for an excuses. Oh, Mama, Reverend Dana, you are welcome. There will be no chance for excuses, but there will be a moment of rapture. There will be a moment of accountability. Let's continue also from here, also Second Peter chapter three. Then let's go to Second Peter chapter three. Second Peter chapter three, verse three, going down. And let's look at something over there. Uh, I'm I'm telling you something that is maybe might not be so sweet for you. Uh, I, but I believe that we must just preach the truth and the truth shall set out free. It's good. We have testimony of God miracle in our life, but the best, the best is to be sure we are going to heaven. If you didn't take care, you fall in the circle of defeat. The way God is using somebody is not the way God is using you. But you must ask yourself, what is my salvation plan? Before any builder build a mansion, there is an, a plan for the builder. We must follow the plans of our master. And we must build at the right foundation. If we have our own foundations, we are making mistakes. And if we have our own plan, apart from what the master has decided, we are making mistakes. Let's do best as we can. Life is not easy. Maybe you might not find things easy. Maybe things are not going the way it should be. Maybe you think. Sometimes, if you are a true Christian, if you are a true a child of God, sometimes it, there is an, a big contradiction that you can't understand it. You know why? Sometimes some situation occur, you may ask yourself, is God with me? And that happened to John the Baptist. Thinking that Jesus, at the end of the day, you, they are family also, not just because they are in gospel. They are also a family. Thinking that Jesus will come and say, hello, don't worry. Let's try to do best. Thinking that Jesus will come and console him, but there was nothing like that. So he sent and said, ask, is he the one? It was so strange to John the Baptist. Sometimes situation will be so strange for you. Sometimes condition, but remember that there is an, a plan of salvation that you are holding. And remember that the circle of defeat is so blood. That is why Jesus said the small way is the best. The big way is blood, but it's taking people to hell. Remember, one day, God is going to give you a crown of glory. But how are you going to obtain it? We must remember ourselves that one day we are going to our home. And where we are going is where Jesus Christ is. We are going to meet Jesus in his glory. Let us not so worry about this life. And don't allow the circle of defeat to be or take dominion over you. We must do best as we can. Preach the gospel. Do good. Do best as we can. I'm not condemning prayer. I'm not condemning prophecy. I'm not condemning prophet. But we must do it at the rightful way. We must do it in a perfect way. We must do it according to our calling. God bless you, man of God, judge, judge Kunadu. Oh, man of God, you are welcome. Nana Yabua. Oh, God bless all of you, Samuel SUD Eastern. God bless you, my man of God, Michael Asante. God bless you. Um, that is um a Ghana wish radio. We are here. Amen. God bless all of you. Um, I believe that we we must do best as we can. We must Jesus have give you your choice. But we must be very careful on what we listen, what we say, and our final conclusion decision. My decision is, let's do best as we can to save our soul from any destruction. If we didn't take care, 
we cause a disaster for our soul by means of believing in people doing our choices. Sometimes our choice is not right, but all what we have to do is to focus, to get a salvation focus with Christ. Have done. Let's quickly turn to the what is that is Second Peter chapter three verse three. Second Peter chapter three verse three says, "Knowing this first, knowing this first, the first thing that one have to put in mind." Or think of this face. That they shall come in the last days, scoffing, walking after their own lust. Think of this. That is a knowing of this means be aware of this. Means take note of this. That they, they shall come in the last days, scoffers, walking after their own lust. If we didn't take care, our financial focus will lead us to hell. If we didn't take care, popularity will lead you to a distraction. If you did take, didn't take care, you will follow a wrong way called a destiny. Your destiny might be in right position, but you might put yourself in the wrong position. Christianity does not mean you don't have to achieve your destiny, but the Christianity means achieve your destiny, have a focus of salvation. I want to tell you one thing is we need to think of our soul. After death, where are we going? What is going to happen? So Bible said, when the, the Lazarus dead, when, when the rich man died, when the poor man died, what did happen over there? What did happen? Let us not argue on what we think. Let us not give excuses of what is going on. If another pastor is doing miracle and you are not doing miracle, that is not the case. That is not the case. If another pastor have a thousand people and you have 20 people, please be, be, be grateful to God. Be faithful to God with that few that you have. It's not a matter of how many congregations you have been preaching in your life. And it's not a matter of what miracle you have done in your life. It's not a matter of I did not do miracle, I did not preach yet. Abraham did not preach to anybody, but God used him. Means of keeping his children to obey his commands and his degrees and maintain the dignity in his command and walk in his rules. Through him, he blessed the whole world. Maybe God just wants you to build your family on a salvation plan, to use them for a purpose. Maybe God just wants you to assist your wife to be a true minister of God. Maybe God wants you to assist your husband to be able to cater for their responsibility in the job that he's doing as a minister of God. Maybe God wants to, you to bring out your children at the proper way so that the great prophet that is coming from your lungs, that great prophet will not fall in victim because many people are falling in victim based on improper family. But I tell you that one thing is, if me and you stand firm, if me and you stand firm and look or focus on our salvation plan, we will reach our goal. God has not given us any burden that is above we can, but what God has given to us is we must preach the gospel, and we ourselves must do the right thing. If we are preaching the gospel and there is secret behind our preaching, we are making mistake. I always said, Christ has not called you for miracle. He can do it than he can do. At the time of Elijah, he brought fire. There are other miracles that happens when the river sea parted, Jericho fall down, the water of Jericho fall down. All this miracle was done by himself. It's not obligation that you do miracle, but it's obligation that you save your soul. It's obligation that you make sure your life is secure at the hand of God. Let's continue also from continue from there. That is the second Peter chapter three, chapter three, verse seven, going down and said, But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same world are keep in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and prediction of ungodly man. Again, against against this world there is an special fire that have been set for 
for, for ungodly that have been sent for the world based on advice of wickedness on earth here, based on, I mean, disrespect, based on our own focus. Bible said fire has been reserved at the time of judgment that the great fire is coming. I repeat verse 7, but the heaven and the earth which are now by the same world I keep in store, reserving unto fire against the day of judgment and prediction of ungodly men. Decision of ungodly men. Effort of ungodly men. Then glory of ungodly man. The treason ministers, the treason members, people who think to take advantage in the gospel and enjoy themselves, make themselves rich, enjoy life, gaining vain glory by forcing miracle, betraying people, fire has been reserved. People that don't want to know, oh, that is the painful. There are people that don't want to even know anything about God. Oh, my brethren and my sisters, we have to be very careful. What men are saying is provoking God. And our decision behind this is also provoking God. We must think of our soul. We must remember we are strangers on earth here. One day the landlord is coming to take his land. And where will you be? If God take all on earth, take the land, you can build mansion, you can prosper, you can do everything. But that should not be the focus of our goals. We must get a salvation focus. We must follow the right principles and do the right thing. I'm not against anything that any man of God is doing. But I want to ask you, is it of God? Was you ordered or have been be ordered by it? Is that telling what you're calling? Is that helping your salvation way? Is that helping your life of way? Maybe you have built a church of 100 or 200 or 1,000 people and have been coming down. Please, don't go for anywhere. Maybe God just wants you to do that and that is all. You don't know who have got salvation from your hand. Maybe God just wants you to save only one person or some few people and make them a minister, a great man of God. And your job is finished. So we don't have to enforce the gospel. And that is why many people are falling victims. Many people think the power of God is not coming for them to use it the way they want it. No, it's not like that. Do what God has ordered you to do. Do best that you think you can do and leave God for the rest. You are welcome, Kofi. You are welcome also, Evangelist. Uh, that is uh, Evangelist Asari. You are welcome, Abranti Asari. And also, Gibra. Gibra, God bless you. Whatever you are, you are all welcome in the name of the Lord. Uh, I think it's better you help me to share this, this message and also you invite somebody to join the platform to listen to this message. Just send it to somewhere, whomsoever you think you can send. Send it to anybody and invite somebody. This is the actual reason that we are here. Zuri, you are welcome. Bienvenido. You are all welcome also. Everybody that is in also a prophet at any Marco, you are all welcome. But the case is we are working toward to a term of prediction or term of substitute, a term of dangerous. We must be very careful because the advantage of the world are leading many people in victims, are causing many people to fall in victims. This is the term that me and you have to be very careful. We don't have to overburden ourselves. We need to do best as we can also. However life is taking you and whatever life is taking you up to, please, you can be in Europe, be in the hell. And you can be in Africa, be in the hell. You can be in Europe and be in heaven. And you can be in Africa and be in heaven. Whatever you are, whatever goes on in your life, one thing I want to tell you is, we need to do best as we can to save our life, to give hope for our soul, to give confidence for our soul. For life, sometimes it's not easy. 
But one thing that I want you to know is we need to do best as we can. Here is where I want us to concentrate mostly, not the miracle, not the glory. Well, as many people that you preach, I always say that is not the salvation focus. First, you must look at yourself first. Mm, verse, that is um, Second Peter chapter 3, verse 8 also. But, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day, be not ignorant. Don't forget that. Ruta J, God bless you. Don't forget that. He said, but believe it, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. That one day is, a, is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is of one day. When God is coming, since the generation passed, and so, so, and so, so, and so. No, leave it for God. Leave it for God. Leave it for God. Do your, do your time. Look, in every generation, there are people who are responsible. We are responsible of our generation to make sure gospel is being put in at the right place. Means we do the right thing for the children to follow on, or to follow up, or to join in. And to be part of it. Okay. This is all what we have to do. You can't do anything about the generation coming. Because generation coming have their also way of life. In this our generation. This is the time that people want to make money. This is the time that people want to do miracle. This is the time that people want to show up. This is the time of proud that people want to be great. Allow God. To do what he wants to do. Bible says you are beginning small, but your end shall be great. That does not mean beginning to make yourself great. No, allow God to make you great. It's my prayer that God will give you strength and ability to walk perfect under his perfection. Don't allow the situation to push you to one side. And don't allow the situation to depress you. And don't allow, allow someone to betray you. But one thing we have to do is, he said, but beloved, be not ignorant of this. One thing, one thing about your soul, one thing about the judgment of the Lord, one thing is about the coming of Jesus Christ, one thing is about your soul, where will you be? One thing is about your life and your soul. That one day is, a, is with the Lord, the thousand years, and the thousand years as one day. The Lord is not sick concerning his promise, as some men count sickness, but is long suffering to us world, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That is the salvation plan for me and you. That is the plan of God that me and you will not perish, not that somebody perish. It's a plan of God that me and you, we save souls. How many souls have you win this year? Every day I ask, is, is the question. And we are responsible to make sure people are giving their life to Jesus Christ. How many souls? I'm not asking a pastor, not a prophet, not a man of God, not a member, not a man or woman, not a child. I'm asking you yourself, ask yourself. How many souls? From January to now, how many souls have you win? How many souls do you think? Whom do you think you can convert? What are you doing? And how best are you trying to make sure at least you can convert someone? Maybe your wife is not going to church. Maybe your husband is not going to church. Maybe your children are not at the right path of Christianity. Maybe your friend is not true Christian. Maybe your mother is not a true Christian. Maybe your father is not a true Christian. Maybe your friend is not a true Christian. We are responsible not to enforce anybody or kill anybody for Christ or attack anybody for Christ. No. It's to read the person by means of love, understanding, unity, speaking to someone, says the truth and do the right thing. If we didn't take care, we may think we are doing best. 
but at the eyes of the Lord, are we doing the right thing? Evangelizer, Ebenezer, God bless you, man of God. You are welcome to the platform. Please, everybody help me to share and also invite somebody also to join the platform. It's very, very important for me and you to take a decision tonight. It's very, very important that one day we are going to meet our maker. And what are we going to tell our maker? It's going to be a trouble. The Lord is not sick about anything that he's doing. We don't have to be ignorant of this, whether God will come today or tomorrow. But it's for me and you to be sure that we do the right thing. As you are in a company, if you start work from 6 o'clock to 2 o'clock, your responsibility is to do best as you can from 6 o'clock to 2. After 2 o'clock, you are not a responsible if you are not doing extra time. It's not your responsible to think of who will work from 2 o'clock also to 10 o'clock. No. It's not your responsible to ask yourself who will work from 10 o'clock to morning 6 o'clock. No. Leave it to the administrator, leave it to the director, leave it to the manager. Your responsibility is to be, to do the writing at when you are responsible. Our responsibility is to make sure we improve the gospel and make sure people know and our children know, our family knows, we ourselves know and we are aware. We must be sure that we, our salvation is for sure. We must be sure for that, that God, is doing something supernatural in one life. We must be sure that Jesus Christ is with me and you. If we didn't take care, one day we are going to be guilty before God Almighty. God bless you. God, we are all welcome also. Um, KD, Prophet KD, God's way. You are all welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome. Wherever you are, anyone is welcome at the platform, Attorney Marcon, and also Prophet Attorney Marcon, and both of them is function as we are listening to the Word of God. Wherever you are, please invite somebody and share the program for someone also to be part of us. It's very, very important that we do best as we can. Let's work together. It's not a matter of one person, but it's a matter of doing the right thing unto his glory. God bless each of and everyone. As we continue from verse 10, that is Second Peter chapter 3, verse 10 said, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the element shall melt with a fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up in the works of that uh, what in every project, in every property, in every investment, everything that you have done also will be made off. One day, Bible said the heaven will pass away. I don't know, maybe you wake up in the morning, there's no heavens. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want to tell you, my brethren, this is the time for me and you to take a right decision that one day, one day, God is coming. One day, a decision must be concrete. One day, we must be sure of whatever we are doing. I want to tell you, my brethren, my sister, this is the time that we have to be very careful on whatever we are doing because one day, one day, something is going to take place. One day, everything is going to vanish up. One day, everything is going to destroy. One day, everything is going to take away from our hand whether the, you buy the plot whether you build the house whether the car is for you whether you have sell it somebody said i will sell everybody but where will you keep even the money everything is going to make up a win both your bank let me tell you that day there is no means where's the means to keep to keep uh, uh, any kind of biological weapon. I want to tell you that day there will be no ways or means that all oh, nuclear weapons cannot be protected because what is coming is dangerous than the nuclear weapons. Hey, my brother, we have to be very careful. We must understand that our God is great. He is the creator of everything that human beings may need. And he is the destroyer of everything that we think to depend on. He will destroy everything one day. Where will you be and where your soul will be? Don't follow somebody by saying, well, there is no God and even the people are deceiving. God is not neither white or black. It's not there is, they have never been written anywhere. Whether Jesus is white or black, that is not the case. The case is what, how are you living? 
Ruth Ade, God bless you. Ruth Ade, Abdo, God bless you. Ruth, you are welcome. Um, also, Ebenezer, Yeboa, oh, you are all welcome. Also, um, Kofi, Samuel, Kodudia, oh, you are welcome, my brother. You are welcome. God bless you, Collins. Um, uh, Collins, it's long time. God bless you. Um, okay, Prophet KD also is with us also once again. Uh, God bless all of you. Please, this is the time for us to look at it well. If we didn't look at things clear, we we'll make a big mistake, which we think. Look, to black men, another pastor and destroy the ministry, that will not help me and you. Let's focus on how God has called us. We must mind our business. Many people are putting themselves in danger as men of God, as Christians. Let's stop black men other ministers. They are not ministers or they are ministers. Someone can be a right minister but lack of knowledge. People perish and the person may perish. Oh, man of God, Noah, man of God, you, you are welcome. You are welcome. God bless you. Lack of knowledge, people perish. Someone might be called by God but lack of knowledge, the person can perish. Someone has not been called by God but all best as he can, he will save his soul. Someone is also an antichrist, making sure to frustrate the information of the gospel. Forget about those things. Let's focus on our salvation plan. If you didn't take care, you, you argue on unnecessary matter and lose your salvation. I'm, I'm begging the, 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 the illegalism people, people that that so illegious, be careful, you might lose your salvation. That calls the, the, the Pharisees, the, the Sahindus and others against Jesus because they were too religious. Please focus on your salvation. If we didn't take care, we will become so religious. And if you become too religious, you will mostly come against God because the ways of God are not the ways of man. And the, the plans of God is not the plans of God. Look particularly at your salvation plan. Maybe your salvation plan is building 10 months, 10, 10 building, or your salvation plan is building a mansion of 10, I mean, uh, that, 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 let me say the tower. Look at your salvation plan. Oh, my sister Nadine, bless and God bless you. You are all welcome. Your salvation plans matters about your, 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 your heavy goal. You cannot go to heaven when your salvation plan is not recognized and accurate put into action. Listen and listen again. Your salvation plan must be focused and determined. Work on it. If you think some pastor is doing this. If you think this pastor is not come from God, if you think, forget it, first thing, watch yourself. Am I going to heaven? Will I go to heaven? What will not permit me not to go to heaven? We are strangers. If you didn't take care, they will take their passport from your hand and deport you to hell. Hallelujah. That is what Satan is doing. That is what Satan is doing. If you didn't take care, you lose your goal. You lose your goal. You lose your focus. But remember that on earth here, Bible says one day everything is going to destroy. One day, every look, Bible says at the time of Noah, at the time of Noah, oh Noah, you are here. I, I'm going to call man of God Noah. If you tell us if God is coming today, today, because last time when he tell us we did not obey and God destroyed everything, today we will not allow Noah to go and leave us again. Hallelujah. Now let me tell you one thing. If God come now, Bible says at the time of Noah, men eat and drink and give to marriage. There is no sin of marriage. There is no sin of enjoying your life. There is no sin of living right or taking pressure on anything that you eat. There is nothing wrong with that. But Bible said they did it and they sin nothing till destruction come upon them. If we didn't take it, we would think we are Christians. If we didn't take care, we would think we are holy people. If we didn't take care, we think we are righteous people. If we didn't take care, we think we are helping God. But it's a big mistake for you to help God. I repeat, it's a big mistake for you to, to help God. You can never help God. Allow God to do what he has to do. And you must be responsible and prove yourself as a responsible somebody of your destiny in your salvation. It's very, very important. It's very, very important. It's not a matter of bishop or a member. It's not a matter of
pastor or apostle. It's a matter of what God has called you. I repeat, the architecture has given you the plan. Whether you are building 10 flats with different places, or you are building a mansion that is 10, continue at the 10. Look at the plan, the salvation plans are different because of our calling are different. Bible says he gives the gift according to the edification of the ministry. It's not a matter of I can read and I cannot read. It's not a matter of I can preach and I cannot preach. It's a matter of what God wants you to do. It's a matter of what God wants you to do. Please, it's time to take a decision. It's time to rededicate our life to God. It's time to know what God wants us to do. If not, we will make a big mistake thinking that we are doing right thing. But maybe you are doing a big mistake. If you can see someone fault, if you can see someone mistake, if you can see how someone is ignorant or wanting, check yourself also. Maybe you are ignorant that that person. Maybe you are doing big mistake that that person. Maybe God is annoyed with you because the, the prophet go and preach to the people and tell them everything. But when another prophet came and said, oh, I'm also a prophet, I tell you that salvation is not about friendship, not about familyship, not about religiousship. It's an individual responsibility. It's an, a singular responsibility. It's not an a plural. So the man of God did not listen to the voice of God, but he listened to another prophet and said, come and eat with me. I'm also a man of God. Let him tell you, through another man of God, you might go to hell. Through another minister, you might disobey God. Do best as God wants you to do. I may say, not all what I'm saying might be right with you or might, be, might, be, might, might, might be encourage you. But let's think of what, all what I'm saying. And let's look at it. I'm not so perfect than you, but I'm trying all my best as I can because I'm a human being. But one thing is, we don't need to discourage. Why you close the ministry so the people are not coming? Come on. Why you leave that ministry because they don't allow me to do what I have to do? Come on, no. Ask yourself, ask God, what do I have to do? The best way that I can do. They disagree with me. Yes, it's right and it's true. Nobody will allow you to take things easier. But sometimes, Bible says, since the, the, the time of John the Baptist, heavily, soberly violent. So sometimes your Christianity or your Christian calling or your, your salvation plan depend, demand violent, violence means you must act violence. When somebody says, ah, Pastor, are you telling us we must act violent? Yes. Sometimes, when you must disagree, disagree. When you must agree, agree. Provided that you are at the right point with God. Provided that you are doing everything for the sake of Christ in a lawful way, not unlawful way. You can do things for Christ's sake, but it's unlawful to the scripture. Then you are making a mistake. Oh, and uh, oh, um, Obiajo, God bless you. You are welcome. Also, um, Prophet Andy, you are welcome. That is uh, Jesus Para Todos Los Nationales. God bless you. You are all welcome. Please, tonight, I'm sharing with you this message because it will be very painful. Maybe that day you did not meet Prophet Atene Marco. And you say, my God, this man said all this thing. Maybe one day you might do miracle. But based on one thing that you do, you might not go to heaven. Bible said there will be a question of teeth. Because if you see the way you have suffered to build this ministry, and just because of small thing, you lost your salvation, that would be a very painful. That is why Bible said people will gush their teeth. There will be a question of teeth that day because people will cry madly. Because if you look at how best you have tried all your best, if you look at the way you enforce yourself, the way you struggle, the way you hustle to make sure the ministry will go on. But at the end, the way you conclude it is the point. We must be very careful. And so verse 11 says, Seeing then that all 
these things shall be this, this love, what man, what manner of person ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Since that one day, everything is going to melt off. What kind of person do you think you ought to be? Since one day, the mansion that you have been built is going to melt off. Since one day, the cars that you have made, you have been bought, is going to melt off, or you are going to leave it apart. One day, you are going to be in naked. Somebody, the day you was born, is not your mother that washed you. It was somebody that washed you. And the day that you die, is not your wife, not that your husband is going to wash you. It's somebody that is going to wash you. Think of this. That one day, you are not going to own yourself. What kind of person you ought to be? Let's humble ourselves and walk under his principle and his rules. Our maker has right to take us at any time, and he has right to keep us at the right position. I want to tell you, my brethren, it's time for me and you to take a right decision. It's time for me and you to rededicate our life to God. It doesn't matter how the situation be. It doesn't matter. As I'm saying, sometimes it's not easier. If you have not been in a hot shoes, if you have not been in trouble, if you have not been stranded before, if you have not been falling victim of poverty, if you have not been falling in victim of destitute, if you have not been in trouble, sometimes you take it easier like that, but it's not easier. I don't know the cost of price you ought to pay means the cause of stress of situation that you ought to pass through. Maybe you ought to go away from certain man that say, I married you, I married you, and have not yet idea of marrying you. Maybe you are living with a lady that you think you will not marry her, you are just enjoying her or mismanage her or using her for what you want to do. Maybe you think you are using a certain man to make rich and at the end go back to whom you love. Maybe you are making money through an unlawful way according to the salvation plan. But one thing is, you must ask yourself, is Christ come? How are you going to answer yourself to God? Since all these things become a meanness, I was with a certain lady that suffered all best that she can and built big mansion in his country. And when he went back to his country, there was very heat, tough heat. And throughout the day, she couldn't sleep. At the next day, she asked to sleep at the hall, and yet she couldn't sleep. And said, I was designed to sleep at the outside, but they will not allow me. She desired even to sleep outside from the mansion because of the weather was not favorable. Then she said, oh, it's meanliness. The way I have suffered, the way I have struggled, but I wasn't able to enjoy that mansion one day. My brethren, we will leave everything and go. We will leave everything, whether you buy big car or you big mansion or you did not build mansion. One day we are going to meet our maker. What will be our response? Maybe you are calling. It's not so important to you, but you think you help a minister. Don't help any pastor. If you are helping a pastor, if you are helping prophet or a bishop, if you are helping any man of God, stop it. It's a waste of time. But if you are serving God, continue. Continue. There is difference between helping and serving. If you think you are helping any man of God, it's a big mistake. No, any man of God don't need a help also. Any man of God must serve God according to his calling. Let's determine something. The salvation plan determine what you ought to do. You can do what you want. Because when the architecture come out with a plan, and you are the person to build as a master builder. You must build it according to the plan. You might build better strong than what was given to you, but it's a mistake not to build according to the plan. The salvation plan is according to your calling. 
It's according to the capacity that you have. It's according to the choice that you have been given. It's according to giving your life to Jesus Christ. He said, when we were yet seen as Christ love us, but he did not say, when we become Christian, Christ love us. No. When we give our life to God, let's do the right thing. I'm not saying we must keep ourselves in poverty and we don't need to help or lead our children or bless our children or establish our talent or our gifts. I'm not saying we don't have to focus also on our destiny. We are blessed children of God. God bless Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and continue till our time. God bless you. May you achieve every destiny. May you achieve the goals. But may you have a salvation plan. May you have a salvation focus and continue. Bible says we should not be ignorant of one thing that one day Christ is coming. We should not forget. We must remember it every day and every day. Francis K. Emmanuel, God bless you. You are all welcome. For one day, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, which manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasten unto the coming of, of the day of God, wherein the heaven being on fire shall be dissolved, and the element shall melt with a fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for the new heaven and the new earth, wherein dwell in righteousness. We are waiting for a new heaven that is coming, a new earth. When you say new earth means it's coming as in a new world for me and you to live in. Heaven is real. We must focus on it. Bible says, what, what kind of person you ought to be if you think your life has been designed to go to heaven? If you think Jesus Christ has come and died and washed your sin and accept you in his glory, what kind of person you ought to be? Let's learn to be faithful. Let's learn to be grateful. And let's learn to respond to our calling on earth here. For God have reason why he brought you on earth here. We must have focus on our salvation. Thinking and remember that we are strangers on earth here. One day we leave everything. One day we go and leave everything. One day we will be at somewhere which we never know. But one day God is going to appear before me and you. What are we doing now? What do we have to do? I don't know the mistake that you may think you are doing. And I don't know what is going wrong with you now. And I don't know a certain consequence that you pass through. Because sometimes when you are giving your life to Jesus Christ, sometimes when you are giving your life to Christ, it could be an religious challenge. It could be you need to cross a religious carpet. It could be you need to cross a uh, some traditional carpet. It could be you need to go out from a certain society. It could be you must go out from a certain organization. But one must deny himself for Christ. For he is the only prophet or only one that have said, I'm going and I'll come back and take you. It ever happened for any prophet say, I'm going and I'll come back and take you. All the prophets say, wait before, wait, wait, wait for Christ is coming. I want to tell you that this is the time. You can't repent when you get into the grief. At the aspect of grief, there is no repentance in the grief. And there is no forgiveness in the grief. One thing we have to do is we need to do best as we can. And we give our life to Jesus Christ. One thing we have to do is we must remember where our soul shall be. We must remember our soul. We must think of our soul. We are responsible of our soul. I want to tell you that this is the word of God that I'm sharing with you that focus on the new heaven that is coming. That Bible says new heaven that is coming. 
We must focus on that one. And if me and you focus on the new heaven that is coming, one day we shall be with Jesus Christ. One day we shall see his glory. One day for Bible says, since, since, since life appointed for man to die. And after death, there is a judgment. Therefore, we will go and give account to our maker. Whatever, whatever you do, my brother, we will have to think of it. If we didn't take care, we may think we are doing best, but we might not do it in a, in a rightful way. This is the time for me and you to turn ourselves and call upon the name of the Lord. This is the time for me and you to grab Jesus Christ. This is a moment of rededicating our life. I don't know what you are doing, and I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what is happening, but this is the time to consider our soul and give our life to Jesus Christ. This year or this moment, tonight, at this moment, I don't know where you are and I don't know what you are going through, but it's time for me and you to say, Lord, here I am. To say, Lord, here I am. Bible said he called and said, whom shall I send? And the heaven was quiet. Tonight, Jesus is calling. Tonight, God is calling. Who is giving his life to Jesus Christ? Who is going to preach the gospel? Whom do I have to send tonight? Who is giving his life as a living holy sacrifice for God to use him? My sister, what are you doing? My brother, what are you doing? What are you doing now? Can you give your life to Jesus Christ? Can you allow yourself to be used by God? Can you turn yourself from the world? Can you give your back to the world? Bible said he called and there was no one to respond. Can we focus on Christ? Tonight, my voice is calling for a rededication and rededicate your life for Christ. Remember one day you are going out on earth here. You are going out from earth here. One day you are going to meet Jesus Christ. One day you are going to give an accountability. I don't know. It's not a matter of how much you have been preaching. It's not a matter of miracle you have been done. It's not a matter that you are not a Christian. It's a matter of if you can give your life to God tonight through Jesus Christ. It's a matter of tonight if you agree and accept your calling. I don't know what you can do, but you know what you can do because the calling is an individual responsibility. God is calling you tonight. God is calling you tonight. Will you give your life to Jesus Christ? Will you accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior? Will you accept the responsibility in your calling? Maybe you are not doing the right thing. Maybe you think based on the life, the course of life, it's not I'll permit you to do what you ought to do. But will you sacrifice your life tonight? I hear that work of voice that calls me unto thee. Oh, my brethren, a voice is calling unto thee. A voice is calling unto thee. It's a moment of tackle. You are calling. It's a moment of making a decision finally. That from now on, what are you going to do next? If God call you tonight, what will be the accreditation of your salvation? And what are you doing? There must be an, I mean, accreditation of salvation in your life. For someone say, God, look at how I have destroyed all the witches, witches and demons. How I destroy all the shrines of the land of Israel. How I demolish all the shrines and break down the poles. And because of me, nobody is able to practice evil things on, on this land. And have mercy. And God said, return back and tell him, I have added I'm more years to his years. And I turn back the degrees. Maybe tonight, if you accept your calling, Maybe tonight, if you focus on your salvation plan and start to do something, it doesn't matter your situation. God know your situation. God know your condition. God know what you are going through. But that is the price you must have, you must do, you must pay. Maybe the person you thought to help you could not help you 
or did not help you. Maybe the person you think to hold hand with him did not go with you. Maybe as you are going back, we said, maybe turn back. And Jesus said, will you be turning back? Will you be going back tonight? A voice is calling, whom shall I send? Whom shall I send? Whom shall I send to go and preach the gospel? Whom shall I send to take his Bible and go to the street and preach the gospel? Whom shall I send to go to that man and speak with him? Whom shall I send to go to that sister and speak with him? God needed your attention. Salvation plan is at hand. Who is taking a responsibility? For the scripture to be clearly on the gospel. Bible says, if you want to follow me, take up your cross and follow me. Tonight, I pray that may God give you ability to take up your cross. Tonight, I pray that may God give you strength to walk in his salvation plan. Bible said, the step of right you have been ordered by God. May God order your steps and may God lead you. May God strengthen you and may God establish you in his glory. May we do best as we can. Tonight is a moment of rededication. If you can promise God, wherever you are, if you can lift your hand and promise God by accepting your calling or by giving your life to Jesus Christ or by going away from one or other things, you can say with me, my Lord, my God, my maker, tonight, I read dedicate my life unto thee. I will serve you. I will walk after your salvation plan. Help me, O God. Lead me, O God. Order my steps and lead me through. Help me to walk under your perfection. Strengthen me, O God. Create in me a new heart and give me perfect heart. Help me to overcome every weaknesses and see me through for such a moment. May God bless you wherever you are. May God strengthen you. Oh, Thomas Oscar, you are welcome also. And Asante, God, you come first man of God. You are all welcome. God bless each of and everyone. I would like to end up my intention tonight. I will continue another time. But one thing I want us to do is this is the time for me and you to step out from worldly carpet. This is the time for me and you to take a final decision. For one day is that like a thousand years. And a thousand years is that like one day. And if a thousand years is like one day, ask yourself, one year is what, how many seconds? It's not up to one second. I want to tell you tonight, God is with you. Stand firm. May God help every man or woman or whomsoever that will hear my voice and give his life to Jesus Christ. May God strengthen you. I pray that whomsoever that will hear my voice and convince and convert and give his life to Jesus Christ, may God increase you and may God uplifted you. I pray that whomsoever that will listen to my voice or that is going under the shadow of my voice and will take advice on what I'm talking about, May God, may God Almighty establish you in his glory and whatever you are going through. May God deliver you and transform the way of your life. May God deliver you and make a way for you. What is there is no way. There is way in Christ. Whatever you are going through, emotionally, spiritually, financially, in every aspect in your life, may God Almighty take absolute control and may God prosper you. May God increase you. May God uplifted you from every dark hill. May God take you from every hands of the enemy. May God protect you and guide you. And may you see the salvation of the Lord in your life. I don't know what you have been praying for so many years. And I don't know what you are going through. May God Almighty visit you immediately after you hear my voice. May God visit you and may God provide you whatsoever kind of anointing whatsoever kind of gift or talent that you wish comes into your way, your way of life, for you to serve God fervently, actively, may God provide you. He is the great dependable provider that everything we need or everyone may need. May God provide all spiritual sources 
every spiritual sources, every emotional sources, every financial sources, and every physical sources. May God provide you and may God lead you. God bless you as you hear my voice. God bless you as you have been with me at this moment. Please help me to share this message and help me to send true messenger to someone so that someone also will listen to this message and be blessed. God bless you. I pray that tomorrow by one o'clock, by 12 o'clock um, in Europe time, we are going to also pray. And that will be a prayer moment. We can pray. Join me at Facebook also. If you have Zoom also, you can download. And as I send the invitation, you can receive it. And also we do that prayer tomorrow. And I pray that this moment, God will visit you. And you will have a testimony on whatever you are looking through, whatever you are expecting. The word of the Lord is our soul and is our strength and is our everything. May the world today that you have here bring breakthrough into your life, establish you in the glory of the Lord. May you never lack of anything. And whatever you are expecting, may God visit you. As he visit Abraham, may God visit you. As he visit Isaac, may God visit you. As he visit Hannah, may God visit you. God bless you wherever you are. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you. And God bless all the men of God and the women of God. You are all blessed in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah.